Hey everyone, so today is a bit of a different video. We have a special guest, Julaline from Julaline Art. Please go subscribe and check out her channel. Today she has done this wonderful tutorial on drawing cartoon animals. She has this gorgeous style and really presents things in a really nice and interesting and new way. So I hope you enjoy this guest video tutorial. One of the reasons uh, I'm having a guest tutorial today, aside from showing you some great new talent, is because my schedule is a bit crazy at the moment and this week I am crunching on a load of different stuff so uh, if you're interested in seeing the process make sure to go subscribe and check out Daily Jazza to see what's actually going on but I have massive deadlines coming up a book that's uh, due for my art to be submitted by the middle of July a 10 minute animated short that's going to be coming out in the middle of July and I'm hoping to be launching my Arty Games app really soon. So fingers crossed that that all works out really well. And if you're interested once again in seeing all of that unfold and that process happen, go subscribe to Daily Jazza. And also I'll be at Comic-Con in Melbourne on the weekend. So if you happen to be uh, at the Melbourne Comic-Con, I'll probably be there for maybe half of Saturday. I'm not doing a meetup or anything, but if you see me around, feel free to come up and say hi and uh, have a quick chat or something. Anyways, uh, I'm going to pass it on to Julia Lynn. It's a really great lesson and she has a really wonderful art style. So I hope you all enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around. Hi everyone, I'm Jillaline on Jillaline Art. Firstly, I want to thank Jessa for giving me this opportunity to make a tutorial for his channel. I am very honored and I have been assigned to do a tutorial on how to draw cartoon animals. So let's get started. First of all, when you're drawing cartoon animals, you just need to know that the basic shapes are the best. To just start with a circle is the best way to just get it started. And I always start with the head. There are many artists who uh, start with the head because that's the easiest. So you just make a circle with two lines crossing with a center is there that's the center and that's where you know where the possible nose will be and when you know where the center is like if you do it like here you do the cross here that's the center line that's where the nose will be so it's really easy just if you remember this start on how to start So once you have this this shape, you do the eyes. I'm doing a little bit of an oval eyes, circular, and an eyelid here, or eyelashes, and the eye. I often draw my characters a little bit cross-eyed because they become so much cuter. And here is when I'm placing the nose. I'm gonna dra draw a cat here. It's also important when you're drawing cartoon animals to remember the characteristic to remember the to remember the characteristics of the animals their facial features and anatomy and uh, such things. It's very important to know those two recognize the animal. Sometimes you don't need much to make someone know what animal you're drawing. It's enough to maybe have a little nose with long ears. That's a rabbit. And a round face with, uh, with triangular ears and whiskers. That's a cat. All animals have different characteristics and features which makes them the animal they are. So just study real life animals and see and discover the um, characteristics of the animals. So here I'm just doing some hair on the cheeks for the cat because this is gonna be a cat. And here comes the mouth. This shape everyone knows about cats. This uh, almost anchor-like shape. And here comes a little smile on the cat. And we'll lift 
the cheeks a little bit to make it smile even more. I'm gonna do it. G give it a little hair up there. And eyelids. So here you have the cat. The basics of the cat. And you can do little whiskers if you want to. But this is not all. You have to do the ears also. So a pair of triangular ears are most often what we associate with cats. So here we have it. Here we have the ears. You can do the ears in any shape you want, but most often they are triangular. So just remember that shape and you are good to go. And a little bit of a neck. I'm gonna give it a little bit of shadow here. And the eye patch. I'm also gonna get a little shadow. And here you have the cat. That's the basic shape of how to do a cat. You can also do a dog if you want to. Do the circle. And we do this shape again. And the eyes. Eyelashes. Just raise the cheeks a little bit. And here comes the eyes. There you have it. Eyebrows. And eye patch. This is just my style. I prefer to draw eye patches because it makes it look even more cartoony. But for a dog, let's see, they often have a big snout. So we're gonna work it out here and draw it down into this shape. It's a little pointy down here and then we're gonna draw up. And here comes the smile. And for the nose, we use this shape. This is also a triangular or an arrow pointing down. I'm just gonna do a little line here and shadow. And there you have the nose. A little bit of a hairdo. Up there. Here comes the cheek. Comes there. And then we have the tongue. A dog has to have its tongue. That's the characteristics. And then we have the bottom jaw coming here. Gonna give it a little hair. And up there. So we connect the mouth. We're gonna give it a little shadow here. And often dogs have a black line down here on the bottom lip. So it's good if you uh, recognize that one and add it. And here comes the jaw. There we have it. And we connect the circle. There you have the basic. And we're gonna do the air, ear. So you would just work it out like this. And there you have one ear. Then you do the other, and it goes there. This would be a Labrador, I believe, because they have these kinds of ears. So it's really important to know different kind of breeds of animals also when you're drawing, to know which breed you're drawing. So here you have a Labrador and a little bit shadow on the eye patch. Gonna do a little bit of little spots up here also. So yeah, there you have the dog. You can also do like uh, the cat, if we do the the basics of the cat, we can change it. We do the cat. Eyelids, eyebrows, and then we have the nose. And 
as it looks like I am about to draw a cat, but I can easily change this by knowing the different characteristics of animals. I'm gonna do a little bit of hair here and work my way around and just possibly make this a little bit more into a triangular shape or anything as you can see here it could be a cat but I'm gonna do something which will change the appearance I'm gonna add a little bit of a line here to make it a little bit longer not, uh, the, the snout <laughs> But that's not what makes this character turn from a cat into another animal. Here comes the secret behind how I can change this cat into becoming another animal. I'm just gonna add a pair of long ears. You see how easy that was? And you have a rabbit. This is what is so fun with drawing um, cartoon animals. You can you can basically start with drawing a cat and it turns out to be a rabbit. It's it's really really funny and it's really fun also to know the different characteristics of animals and their anatomy and such things. So there you have a rabbit from the base of a cat. You can also, if you want to, you can do a circle. So here we have the shape. Draw the eyes. These are my favorite animals to draw because they are so funny. The eyes come here. And the eyebrows up there. Eye patch. And here comes the fun part. Draw a circle down here and a little circle down there. And you just follow this shape, give it a cheek out here. Follow here. And here you do the nose. A little bit up here, just a little bit, and a smile. You raise the eyelid, uh, the uh, the cheek, and you do the bottom jaw, and believe it or not, but now you have drawn a dolphin. So it really, really is easy to just play around and find the different ways to draw animals and this is what I really like about it you can just have fun with it you can start with a basic shape and you can come out up with anything basically it's just to play around as for a horse or animals with a longer snout you do it like this it's all about shapes I often work in circles just to make it easy for me so here we have the shape, I'm gonna do the eyes, eyebrows, and the eye patch. So here we have the, uh, the basic, basic shape. And now we're gonna turn this into a horse. So a horse has a very long face, so with this you need to do another circle here. When I draw the muscle of a horse, I often draw this shape here, and then one there. That's the nostrils. Then we have the bottom jaw there. You can already see that it's starting to become something a little bit more long-faced than a cat or a rabbit. And you draw the nose, like this. And a round shape here, and up to a smile. And raise those cheeks a little bit so it becomes a smile 
and here we have the bottom lip and the jaw and here comes the jaw you just collect it up here so it attaches up here and down and nostril here and one there and I often just draw two shapes here and down a little bit of eye eyelids but this is not all when you're drawing a horse they have ears also I often draw them round just to make it look even cuter here we have the other ear To make animal look even cuter, you angle the ears a little bit inwards, so to say, like this. It's a great way to make it look even cuter. It's just like the eyes. If the eyes is a little bit uh, crossed, then it becomes an even cuter animal. Same things goes with the uh, with the ears. So here we have the mane. Or the forelock because a horse has a forelock so I'm gonna give this one a little crazy forelock there you have that one and a long neck because because horses do have long necks and hair crazy hair So there you have it, that's a horse. You can use this for any animal you want to draw with long face. You can draw cows, sheep, um, uh, rhinos, uh, yeah you can draw anything. Anything with a long face you can use this met method with just basically two circles. One for the head and one for the muscle. So if you want to draw maybe a whole uh, body of an animal, you take this part here. Let's do uh, a kitten. We're gonna do a kitten. And we do a circle here. And that's all I need, basically. And one. We're gonna make one here. So here we have three circles, doesn't look like much right now, but if we do the shape of the face, here we have the eyes, I'm gonna do it, do a little bit different facial expression here, this kitten is a little bit focused, and the nose, the button nose. And here comes the shape of the face. So far so good. And I'm just gonna do this here. This is gonna it's gonna have its tongue out a little bit. So focused. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so now we have this shape. But what to do with these? Well, these are uh, the rest of the body. This is the forelegs or the shoulders. Here you have the back and that's the behind. So we're gonna just draw out the ears just so they are there. Out with the ears. So there we have it. So we're gonna do the shape for the kitten. Here we have behind. It's gonna stand with its behind straight up. And then I'm gonna take another shape. This is the thigh, so to say. And here comes a little little bit of a shape. And that's would that would be the hook, I think it's the hook in English. And here comes 
the rest of the leg. And here comes the pause. It's all about knowing these kind of shapes. All you have to do when you're drawing these kind of animals is just basic shapes. Know the basic shapes on how to draw things. You can even use squares if that helps you with a circle inside. But I basically use these and circles and such. They are the basics to draw. And here I'm just gonna draw a little paw. We have the paw, arm, and arm. Here comes another, and paw. So if we're gonna fill in this now, I'm gonna do it like this. Here comes the leg. And the paw. That's easy enough, huh? I'm gonna do it here also. Paw. And we're gonna go up here. Here comes this shape. Paw. And this is what makes it so fun to draw with cartoon animals. And of course, we're gonna have a little tail. I can even make it a little bit bigger because that's what a little tiny. That's a little tiny. So we're gonna do it like this. Now it became more like a teenage kitty. And shadow there. And shadow there. And this is basically how you draw cartoon animals. It's nothing too advanced, it's really basic. I have learned this from Disney, among others. And Disney is really, really friendly when it comes to circles and drawing with simple shades, shapes. It's all about drawing with simple shapes. So here we have a kitten, like I said. We're just gonna give it a little bit of a yarn. Which it can play around with. All kittens play with yarn. So there you have it. I'm gonna give it a little bit of shadow underneath. There you have it. And if you are drawing, let's say a dolphin, dolphin, you have the circle, comes the face, eyebrows gonna make it look a little bit upwards there you have it draw the nose here comes the bottom shape the cheeks eye patch here we have the nose gonna have this mouth a little bit open it's a happy dolphin with a tongue there and shadow there you have your dolphin okay but now when you have drawn the face it's time for the body and this is really simple guys it's really really simple just draw a oval I think it's oval in English. And just attach. Dolphins really are simple to draw because it's just a it's just a blob I was about to say. And then you just follow it down here and end it. 
So it has a really really nice shape and it's really fun to work with. And then you have a triangular. Kind of a triangular for the thin. Which you can work to make a little bit more round. This dolphin is gonna have a little bit of... Uh, uh, what's the word? It's gonna turn a little bit. So here we have the fin. And here we have the other. And often dolphins, they have a dorsal fin also. And in this, uh, in this angle it would most likely be here. But since it's behind the dolphin, I can't draw it. You can always, if you want to, try. But in this angle, it's not worth it. And I um, sometimes just make a little, little, little blowhole. And we're just gonna give him a little bit. Some bubbles. Just some bubbles. So yeah, that's how I draw cartoon animals. And uh, this is just a very simple tutorial, really, really basic, because I only have about uh, 30 minutes on, uh, on myself to do this. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something and that I could share some of my knowledge to you guys. And once again, I want to thank Jazza for giving me this opportunity and hopefully I will see you really soon. And if you want to see more of my art or my tutorials, it's just to visit my channel. So yeah, thank you guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you want to support my work and get some goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, digital brushes, video courses and more. If you enjoyed this video, here's a link to another video you might like from this channel. And if you want even more, make sure to check out all my behind the scenes action on my vlog channel, Daily Jazza. Draw with Jazza is proudly sponsored by Adobe. Join the creative cloud today and get loads of incredible creative tools like Photoshop, Animate, Premiere Pro and other apps for your computer or mobile device. That's it for now. Thanks for joining the arty party and until next time, I'll see you later.